What inspired you to book a volunteering holiday? Many reasons, I would say, but uh, primarily the fact that I've always volunteered. I'm very, very much aware of the importance of volunteering and what it gives as well as, um, as, well as actually getting benefit from it myself. And it's something I've always wanted to do. So when I saw that SAG were offering such volunteering, um, then it was natural that I would apply. And as a volunteer, what kind of work do you do? As a volunteer, um, I go to the school in St Lucia called Donata, where they have 85 students, age range from 5 to 25. The students are all special needs students, um, and my goodness me, they do need an awful lot of um, things. How are you involved in the school? I've been in banking all my life, so um, accounting, administration, I've run branch offices, um, uh, but also in my volunteering, I've been very much aware of constitutions and all kinds of um, important issues that relate to charities. So not being a teacher, um, admin was the kind of uh, skills, I guess, um, the coordinator thought were appropriate. So how are you involved in the running of the school? Well, when I was first um, chosen to, to go to St Lucia, um, the coordinator for Saga suggested that I might have appropriate skills to help the headmistress, um, which has been fantastic because I've actually become a friend, but she's just inundated all of the time. So at the first instance, she asked me if I would get her books up straight. Um, and having done so, I happened to just say to her one day, well, wouldn't it be nice if somebody were to take these out of your hands and just update them every so often? And she looked around at me and said, oh, that would be nice. And a couple of days later, came and asked me, would I like to do that for her? Um, how could I say no? <laughs> I just love the island. I love the people. I love the school. But in addition, I work with the teachers. Um, for example, in my recent visit, I produced photographs of all the children because the classes wanted to take these uh, home as gifts to their families. I produced notelets that the hotel sell to raise more money for the school um, and Christmas cards as well. And even to the, the effect of producing Christmas cards for this country and trying to get my friends to, to buy them. So that's a spin-off there. Of course, we're talking about a volunteering holiday, but presumably there's time for relaxation as well. That, that depends. <laughs> um, I suppose I'm a bit of a conscientious person, and if I know I've got a job to do, I'll make jolly sure I do it, even if it means working whilst I'm at the hotel. And because you're in a hotel, and the Saga Hotel, um, it's possible to um, take advantage of some of the excursions that they have. And certainly I did that on my first visit, but I must admit, these uh, more recent visits, I have found that I needed to do more for the school. And in consequence, um, although I've got lots of friends on the island now outside of the school um, and meet up with them, but I, I tend not to go on the excursions. But you can, it's, it's, it's there for the offer. I imagine that doing something like this could be quite daunting. I would say on the first visit to anywhere where you're offering to volunteer um, you don't know what to expect and when I go out and give talks that's one of the things I say what was I going to expect how was I going to be received um, and you don't know until you get there because there are local cultures um, and sometimes I guess people the students and even the teachers will wonder why you're there and what you can do for them but the most important thing in my experience is that you, you actually say to them, I'm here to help you. I don't mind what I do, but how can I help? And what would your message be to people who are thinking about volunteering but aren't quite sure? I would say go for it. I would also like to highlight the fact that mostly it's ladies who, who volunteer, in my experience. And I would like to suggest that some of the men out there, although they might not feel that they have things to offer, believe me, they have, because a lot of the children don't have parents, don't ha they live with aunt, uncle, brother, sister, cousin, distant relative, or a guardian even. They don't often have a male role model. So even if those men go along and teach them um, sort of house skills, woodwork, something like that, but also be there as a male role model, that is really important. And yes, there's room for them.